What's up, Willie? You remember? I, I forgot. I haven't seen you in a while. I actually got your number. You enjoying it? Yeah. Met some new friends there besides me. Today is Skills Assessment Day at Kennedy Creeker Institute for Project Search. John is hosting a station in the facilities department today. John, what job do you want? I'm to work on cars. You want to work on cars? I'm building cars. I'm hoping I can have some Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> I think we all wish for Saturdays and Sundays off. Yeah. Don't we? <laughs> to support our admissions process, we host a Skills Assessment Day, which is integrated stations throughout Kennedy Creeker Institute. But I think Project Search would definitely be a good fit for you too. My first internship was the Spinal Cord Unit, which is on the, the fourth floor from the PT unit. So I never imagined myself working in the hospital with patients that had spinal injury. When I first came here, first started working there, I instantly, I was like, oh, this is good. Nigel Sims, one of our current Project Search interns, is partaking in the interview process for our future cohort. About one year ago today, John and Nigel participated in Skills Assessment Day to be part of our first cohort of Project Search interns. They have grown into mature young professionals who are ready for the workforce. <laughs> Today I started at 6.30 in, in the morning, clocked in, did the coffee, had to get the truck so they could clean up the silverware and stuff for lunch. I was washing the dishes, taking out the trash, my tasks. It was hard, but I got through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's going to be my new slogan. Good things come from a struggle. You have to go through a struggle in order to get through certain things in life. It may be hard, but it's like I'd rather for you to go through the hard stuff than not go through it at all. Going through a struggle could be a bad thing and a good thing because you don't know. I like to say it's like a, like a surprise because you don't know what you're going to get out of it. This is what certain people need to see is the fun in life instead of the hard things in life because not everything is all about the hard things you gotta have fun in your life in order to get through certain stuff you know i'll, I'll be missing you and stuff hey you be lying and stuff you be like, what am I doing? You be lying and stuff <laughs> the rest of the day should be smooth uh somewhat smooth i do the dishes right there gotta wash all those so it's about to be crazy I always dream about living by myself too, because I think it would be kind of cool. As I'm getting older, I'm not going to have my grandmother. Because as soon as I start getting money from Kennedy Creek and start saving up, I think that's when we're going to start looking for the apartments and stuff, or probably signing for a, an apartment. So I'm excited, but a little bit scared to move out my grandmother's house. But I'm also happy. Certain things don't last forever, so. Now we're stepping into adulthood, so it's like I need to do stuff for myself. Today, you have made history. You are the first Project Search graduates from Kennedy Krieger Institute. You challenged us. You impressed us. You are mentors. You are leaders. You are successful. You are young professionals ready to begin your career. I am very proud of you. We are very proud of you. But most of all, you have made an impact on Kennedy Krieger Institute. How you doing? Thanks for coming to this graduation. I would like to say thank you to Miss Earlene for 
working as a team with me in facilities as an environmental service technician. I was excited and feeling funny and happy about it. My mom and my grandma was here and gave me a big hug. They gave me a big hug too. I am very excited what's next. Good morning, everybody. Black graduation say amen. <laughs> um, my name is Nigel Sims. I want to like I want to like I would like to start saying I'm proud of myself and the person I have become over the last ten months. I became I have learned more to be more proactive and responsible. I would like to thank my grandmother. For being a supportive mother. Because we just graduated and I'm about to start my first job next week. So the Spiny Claw hired me. So I'm going to be working in the Spiny Claw unit in the 801 building, looking for to, uh, help with others, because I like help with others. It was a proud moment to see our current cohort graduate and all of their hard work. But I also know we still have a long road ahead of us. Uh, how would you feel if a lot of me driving? No, really nervous. Because you scared because I might drive fast? It's not driving fast, it's not paying attention or... Blasting the loud music? Treating the, the car like it's some kind of video game or like something like that? Like driving fast, doing burnouts, or if I had my own car? I would drive you if I had to, I would. First time getting a job at this age. Here he comes. I feel good. I think he'll be okay. His managers know him. They know what to expect from him. I've, I've coached him through a lot of stuff, so I, I, I hope everything I said will stick, so I think he'll be fine. John works for the facilities department focusing on inventory and stocking where he delivers materials all over the institute and continues working on his customized jobs at the eye wash station and the parking attendant position. In inventory, I do the facilities, stock the items, and do deliveries and send them to the, the cases of items into the mail room. I'm working really hard, and, and I feel I'm like I'm in my 30s. Hi, Mr. Sims. Nigel Sims has maintained employment for five months in the International Center for Spinal Cord Injury. There, he does hands-on patient care and prepares for incoming patients and also supports after patients have finished their session. His colleagues call him the mayor of Kennedy Krieger Institute. Oh yeah, because I'm getting my own apartment uh, sometime next year. It's a big change, but we're gonna have, I'm going to have to, I, I'd rather do one now than later. So it's like a little bit nervous, but probably when I get used to it, I'm not going to be as nervous. It's like every parent that has a child with a disability, of course, going to be scared. But it's like, as long as I'm okay with it, then she's okay with it. Hi. 